Oh, this town dog will not back. This is Flight Simulator X. Steam Edition. Most clear. And we'll be trying one more flight tonight. I think probably the last thing tonight because it's getting pretty late already. I just, just I don't know how long this flight is or how long it'll take me, but I'm going to try to. More or less, I got one VOR and I got some manuals to try to find my way up through a area up through here. <clears throat> so what I've got planned for tonight, right now, is I'm sitting here where I landed while I go at Barron, Barron uh, Airfield, uh, five seven C A C L. I got eight there, but it's L actually, I think. Anyway, and we're set at twenty four hundred ninety nine feet above sea level. We're going to leave here on heading of zero eight zero. I'm going to fly to a VOR called Daggett. At DAG is ID. It's 11320 is frequency. We're going to go straight from here to it pretty well straight across it. When we cross it, we're going to try to fly uh, straight through the, the, v, the VOR and into a ravine which is almost straight in front of it a little bit to the left possibly and as we go through that ravine go across the terrain under us to a higher terrain in front of us we don't want to climb on that terrain we want to stay below it or somewhere around there we can see where it's at and hold to the right go around it with it on our left side staying pretty close to it as we go around it we'll come up on another little small oh uh, you'll go around it we'll come up on another small airport called baker we're going to cross Baker and out to about the runway heading, which will be a heading of about 350. We're going to try to go up through there just a little ways, not very far, and we're going to hold left. And the mountain on the left, we want to arch around it and go through the ravine on the left between the mountains and stay around there until we come to a little, uh, it's a little airport there. We get to a creek, it says here. And there's a airport called, no, it's up till the end there, though. Go down to, where are we at here? To, to a creek, follow the creek northerly. Hopefully we'll be able to recognize the creek. It seemed like it was an airport somewhere, but anyway. We're going to go around there to the, to the left, around that mountain and through that area. I hold the creek northerly from there. Should be a, a recognizable creek, I hope. And we're going to go northerly to a airport called Furnace. Where's this at now? I'm trying to read both scr handwriting, scratching. And two and past the Furnace Airport, two and past it. Uh, the airport Furnace, and then we pass it as we're going through there, and there'll be like a creek fall to the left mountain to a airport called Stovepipe Wells. That's where we're going. We'll go up to the furnace whip. The, all right, furnace going to whip the creek. I got to go north up the creek until I pass the airport called Furnace, which is up pretty high up the creek. And after you pass it, it'll go around the mountain on the left, and there's an airport called Stovepipe Wells. I may not ever find that without cheating a whole lot, but we're going to try it. Just see what I can get out of it. Here I am sitting in the same little airplane again. And, oh, let me see if this thing's ever come up. Yes, it has come up. Let me get this set up for myself, and I'll be ready to start. Well, let me get this set up for myself, and I'll be ready to start. Let me get this set up for myself and I'll be ready to start. Small screen on the other screen. Get this in front where I can see it. 
everything else right right there now we're ready now we're sitting here again this little same little plane go through the same rigmarole every time <laughs> it's just that's the way it goes now we're going like say first thing we're going to do the wind's not very stout so we go ahead and untie this thing uh, sort of stable today I'll take the tie down and off the wheel chocks out open the cockpit up and let the pilot get in I don't believe he got it. Well, of course, they only put his luggage in there again. His luggage went in, but we didn't see it. There it is down on there. And we're going to put the pilot going to get in. He got to put his seat belt on. Uh, he had set the seat belt bolt. There we go. And then we're going to put our little glasses on again. There we go. He's ready to go. Now, this time, I'm going to try to think to close this window. Last time, I don't think I closed it. Close the door up. There we go. Now we're ready to fire him up. See if we can get him out of here. Well, let's see if we can get him fired up. So the fuel is already on. We make sure that we've got the plane. Everything ready to go. We're going to turn this on. Turn this on. we got it ready. Now we want to Turn the avionics on. We're not going to fly very high. Let's say about 2,500 probably. We are 25 here though. We have to leave off about 3,035. We'll come back down a little bit later. As we leave here, I think terrain drops off a little, I believe. I'm going to make 35. We have to get higher we will. Whoops, that's 4,000. That's 4, 35 is right there. Airspeed of about 220. 120. I'd say the same thing last time. Go down. On that. Right there. This time I think we got a full tank of fuel because I didn't hadn't changed it. Yep, it's got a full tank of fuel. I'm not worried about climbing this high this time, so we don't worry too much about that. I think we're about ready to take off. Well, we could bring this right here up. We've got one view where we're going to get us over to that mountain so we can find that ravine in that mountain. And it's Daggett at 11320. There it is right there. Three. Two zero. There we go. Now that should do it right there. And we're going to leave out of here going straight to it, whatever it is. I don't know what it is straight to it. I uh, did I, yeah, I got just a 080 zero zero when I got out of here. Exactly what it was. Ground a little soft, it's dirt. I think it seemed like it was harder to move. Get right around this runway. Where's that runway at? I see it right there. Man, it's hard to see. All right, here we go. It ain't smooth as it is. It? Uh -uh. I did the blade that another time or two. That track driving that blade drag up down there a few times. See if we can get it a little more smoother. All right, that's fast enough. Get her in there. That'll do to get all of our signals up. I don't know how far it is. It's all, I get most all of it on the same scan of the map without zooming it. So it shouldn't be too far. See, just don't do that. It's all there is to it. There we go. Where are we going? What's this thing doing? <coughs> Turning from around what it's doing. That's what it has to do. Did what I told it to do. As long as it don't crash, we don't care. 
you know, let's get outside the plane and see what we're doing. Hmm. I like the look at that, that angle. Now, little airport sitting out there today, where we're going to. We're going to the VOR. The VOR one. It's not on yet. We should be headed that direction. Uh, I'll turn them mountains out there. I don't know if it's across the mountain before you get there or not. I actually don't remember looking. Uh, we get a signal, we'll know more about it. Let's climb. I've got to set the climb to 3,500. Uh, it's already up there. We're still too close for ground to suit me at this point. Let's climb another 1,000. Maybe we'll get a signal out of that. There's any thing between you and the airport, you have trouble getting a signal to us. We're working on it. Our signal was. Thirteen twenty one one three. There it is. We just got it. Show it way off my target, though. Ooh, we. That's probably right, but it show off my target this time. A bunch. I might have. I might have targeted the wrong VOR. To be honest with you. Looks at that. Anyway, all I got to do is say that's probably it. Sure, there's about two out here that frequency is this close together. Now that's off by 40 degrees, 35 degrees. I've missed it on that four though, so it's not impossible. That's probably my right signal though. I'm gonna say it is. Let's see where we're at. 40 miles. Sound about what I expect, to be honest with you. I'm bringing it around now. I just say I was off 35 degrees that time at least. Gonna cut across this airport here. Almost. I don't remember, there's an opening there in front of me, see it coming? That could be where we hit it, up at opening there. Supposed to be a VR just before you get to the opening in the mountains. I might say straight in front of me, straight out to whatever heading it is. Forty-four. The wrong way. There we go, right there. That says it's dead down the barrel here. Uh, so a lot, a little green looking street going into the, I got a feeling there's going to be a creek in here too. There's a green looking street going in that area. 40 miles a long way though. That's going to put that mountain on this, put it behind that mountain there. Show the world. But if that's not that bad. It's after you pass the VOR, so we go into the ravine. So if that ain't it, that ain't it. Looks like that ground earth gonna be lot of getting my way yet. We can come down on the back side if we have to. Once we've had some real war, I'll decide where we at and what we got. And maybe it's so bad to have to turn it all off and delete it. I don't know. Be ashamed of it. Pretty bad ashamed of it. <laughs> the way I plot them headings, it's easy to miss them. And the further you move around, the less it takes or more it takes to eat it with the tolerances. I think the ravine we're looking at is going to be on the left of that mountain in front of me. That's still the one over here, but maybe the same one in the long run. I didn't pay attention to what was between me and that. I was saying that, that train, though.
we're we'll going to go this way and see what we're going to do. The VOR is going to be right, and straight across it, slightly to the left, will be right. Uh, anywhere straight across it, to a little to the left. The trick is finding all this stuff I'm looking for. After I pass the VOR, we got to get to it first. I should be high up that mountain there. Yep, we got that mountain clear at this time. Once I clear it, I don't think nothing else on the other side that I gotta be that high with. I gotta went around that. I probably did figure going around it. <coughs> but I didn't write anything on it this side of the VOR. So go to the VOR is what counts. Still 42 miles out. That's gonna put us up pretty more miles if you're possibly past them. I'm pretty sure that's the signal though. It's the only one I know of. There's two out here. The other night I didn't check what the frequency was on it. But it was to the right of where I was, not to the left. And so if, it'd been, if that'd been the one I got onto, I would have to go to the right to the left to get to it. So that go left is probably mine. It's miscalculated. Forty-one. We're past that mountain at this point. I'm wanting to get back down between them here, but I'm not sure. I come back right down to 4,000 a few minutes. Have to we try to, we look like we need it, we can start climbing before we get to the mountains again. Once you cross, cross the VOR, it's not far to them little mountain ranges, it's an opening on the right, go between them. See a place right there. It looks like it, but the way this mountain is, this is just panning out. That might be too too close. Flat old country, some rusty, some rusty looking bumps. But nope, greenery might say at all. Not much more little shrubby down there for tumbleweeds to be made out of. There's an interstate up through there. about north and south. I don't guess this a mess of a video what I've got done. It's not completely surrendered. Hey, the terrain getting up under me. I'm still coming down too, ain't I? Ooh. Maybe I'll not get no lower. Go back to 4500. And if I have to cross that mountain on it, I might well start climbing. If I turn left, go around it.
because we have to go across so we'll probably go to the left of it. I'm going to climb another 500 just in case. I see right now we're going to be in that mountain. Probably need to go back where we live. At least. That looks taller than what we just came across. Let's see if it'll climb up. That look huge, huh? And we're not going to be to the VR on this side of it, that's for sure. I'm not sure we're going the right way, but all my information says I am. Except the fact that I just made a boo-boo on the, on the layout on it. And you can't look at that map and tell all this anyway. Exactly, that's what makes it hard to plot your one physically. We're still climbing. We're clear of this part actually right now, I believe. Keep climbing, hold this heading, we should be alright. Might not be clear that on the right, but we should be clear where we're going over it. Barely. Hope, hope, hope. I'm gonna hold on to this button, but I have to turn away, I'll try it. Thing about the airplane will go across the monster may not. You can't take turn it too late at that point to even figure it out. Looking pretty good right there. And we're still climbing. Now from here on out I believe we got the distance to get the, to get our we got our distance to get our uh we'll cross that now. Few more seconds. All right, let's take it back down. Whoops, going up and it's going down. We're about 5,500 feet worth right there. Come back down to 4,500. I'm not sure about that mountain in front of us, but we should be running out of distance after a while. We're all just a little bit to the left of that green arrow. Come back over a little bit. Like when we cross over, we gotta go straight across and try to find a little <coughs> opening in the ravine. It's, 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 it just actually plumb green on the on the map. It was blowing up. It terrain don't even look this color, and it falls into an area straight across it. There's a little rise or a mountain, but don't look very tall out there in that area. And I got a whole right of it holding on my left wing, go around it. If I can find that airport, I've got a chance. Once we go around that, we got to go slightly 350 for a few minutes. I'm going to set this about 350. That's my estimate. You know how everything else went, though. is right there. Now, that's the heading I want to go as I go around that mountain. But don't think that's not an exact. It's going to go up through that little ravine in that direction and go to the left around the mountain in between the next ravine.
There's another airport in that ravine. I don't want to go to you. I don't want to turn about halfway to it. We'll go over that. We'll be going. Right there. We're going back to make it go around and go around the mountain. Around the mountain on the left. Turn between the left to a, what is this creek? That is the airport called Creek. Airport called Creek and it is I don't have a ICAO on it, but that's what it was. For sure. My cup of coffee. I'm still 24 miles out of the view wall. I got across the view. There was a little water. I think between here and the view wall. I see a little spot out there. Look like. I forgot about that. Didn't put that on her either. It seemed like it was a little spot of water or something. Just, just before we get to, to the VOR. Oh, took me. I'm back. <coughs> <coughs> 
had to step out this week first. Let's see what's going on here. We're 17.7 miles out. Look like is it still going in or yep, we're still going in. Make sure we didn't pass it. Well, I know the room. This thing went over on me. I'm gonna take go back and get it real quick. Like a airport, I don't know, like a military base. Laid out like one. A long building down the side. KGAG. That was Dag, yeah. That was it right there. That's the airport right there. You are going to be here somewhere. KGAG. KGAG is the VOR. Airport KGAG. It's out here in front of me. It's a little ways yet. Go that way a little bit because that's where it's at. Move myself to the east side a little bit. It's more like it right there. Seven miles. We're going to go straight through. And I think that mountain right there on my left is going to be coming into play when we get there. And I like to say, we're not having no distance to make it hard. Could go back to the map and estimate the difference now since I know how far it is to tag. Dag it. Compare it for distance. You get some idea. The zero zero I was trying to pull from here. I said straight through, I didn't have no turn on nothing exactly. But slightly to the right, but either way, if I, if the zero zero wasn't right, whatever is straight to it, the map still shows it straight across it. 
the slightly to the right as you go through the ravine to go to the far side of that little piece of ground. And the airport is right around behind that little piece of ground in the middle. <coughs> I think it was an asphalt airport, it should be too hard to see. I'm gonna come back down just a little more. I don't know, pretty close to the ground now though. Make it 4,000. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the altitudes are up in here, but there's an altitude there for a wood tape of 25 feet. It doesn't go down to sea level up in there, just about it. <coughs> Alright, we're still 7.5 miles away from the you are. Showing a street up there from it now, like it's a little bit lower or something. The texture up there. And we're right up through there. That mountain in front of me, maybe if I had to break around to the right. So I'm not sure about the distance here. Could have scaled the map a little better, but I didn't. Let me go to the map just a minute. It won't hurt nothing. All the way over right here in the seat and look at it. In fact, they can do it right here on this. Now, see, we are from in the ravine, and from it, the little path we follow and go right through that ravine. That's right. You see it right there. And once you go through there, there's a little water. And I can hold right of that water and around that mountain. When I get to here, I'll be going off 350. I'll try to find that airport across through this ravine. But what I want to do here is the distance from here. To the VOR about 40 miles. That's going to put this to be about almost 20 to that ridge right there. 15, 20 miles to that ridge right there after you pass the VOR. That's going to be what I'm going to come up with estimation. Hold this heading and that little, little transfer under us. That goes right into where we're going. It might not go around the little mountain right section, but it goes right into that ravine to it. And either way around it would work, but I need the airport in order to know where I'm at. If I went around to the on the left side with it on my right, when I come out to the other side, I'd be turning away from the airport before I got to it. And I wouldn't have any idea where to turn except for terrain. Three miles off VOR, just hold the heading. We don't want to turn nothing. That little Big line under there up on the ground. There's like a creek here, a bend or something. <laughs> it goes right into where we're going. In front of us is almost straight in front of us. And that little mountain on the right, and that little ravine in front of us, flat between the mountain on the right and the mountain on the left, that turn by itself. That's the opening I'm talking about. And I believe the big mountain on the right. I've got to go between it and a little bit thing I see over here on the left, I believe. So that's where we hit it. I believe that one on the left is the terrain i got to go around. The one on the right is just taller. I believe I saw that too, but I... <coughs> I write so scribbly, I didn't try to put it all down. I can't read what I wrote. If it ever gets cold in the real world, I read it. Got to keep it warm to read it. 
form in my mind. There will lay it down, forget it. I'll never read it tomorrow. All right, we are passing the VOR. Move it off to the right for one mile out. Nine tenths. We're going to pass within a half or less. A mile of VOR. I'm not going to chase it because it get me off my heading. <coughs> We're close enough you wouldn't want to chase it anyway. <coughs> Four tenths. We passed it at four tenths out. That's close as we're gonna get. Why does that plane change sounds? Must have a downdraft right there. Plane change sounds on us. Now that yellow bar on the left says 350. That's not gonna fly the plane. That's just the general direction I gotta turn. Got nothing to do with the fact that I turn this side off, it'd probably do me more good not to see that. So let's do this. See thing on it right there? Alright, now. That'll do me more good right there because it was whoop, always using it for reading. Get the reading off the other There we go. Like I said, 15, 20, 15, 20 miles out. It'll be over at that ravine. I believe I see it already. I'm almost in line, still have to move to the right to get around. I'm almost going to go around it right now, I believe. That mountain on the other side, that big one, I hadn't got a pass yet, I don't believe. And if I do, then I'm all totally right down, it doesn't make my mind up wrong. And I blew right there on that blue water. Well, I'll have to watch that airport, because if it's not, Once we pass that mountain, we're going to the left, which we right up in what I see on the side over on the left right now. And there's some mountains up in there. If they go around that mountain, but this wasn't a big mountain to go down here. It's just a little low, low terrain area, it looks like. That's what I'm looking at there on my left right now. And the water is yellow, the water's up on the other side. That's what people where I wanted to be. I'm gonna hold this heading right here which is pretty well what I said anyway. Even though I was talking about a different heading, it's straight to that view on straight out from where I was at. I just had the heading reading wrong. But we pretty good shape look like. And I don't believe I gotta do anything else here. Where I'll see something looks more like what I'm talking about. That's totally out of pocket with my mind. If I don't see an airport on the back side of that nose bridge on it, I'm going to loop around that nose on the right. The other way, you'll see that airport back there. I think this is it right here. I see a little ravine to my right. But I believe it's narrower than what I'm looking for, yet I'm not sure. This is looking a whole lot like it would be where I ought to be. If I got a little ravine on it, which would put me around that and around that big mountain coming around. But I have to plow straight away first. There'll be no straightaway there that wouldn't work. That'll put the airport right over to, to my right there, but I don't believe it's there. I mean I can pull up my GPS and tell me, but I need mountains to be lying too. We're only five or six miles out, seven miles out now. I said fifteen to between fifteen and twenty roughly. It's the water I was talking about, that's the way I turn it over. So you can't see all this stuff on the train exactly. And it may be that I'm looking at the 
the range for long. If so, these are not it, so I come. The big mountains out in front of me. Well, we, we, there ain't no airport here. I'm going to zigzag back to the right back on that open. That was what I was talking about anyway. Had maybe the mountain over there. If they listen here, the distance is going to be more like it. I'll put it the other way. This is too close. The water was between me and that mountain. So there's the water right there. But that's going to be it back that way, not up here. Across the water. And go to the right around that mountain back there. And break left around it. This is going to get to be confusing. There's not enough really to go by and do what I'm trying to do in, in this flight simulator. Unless you've done done it where you've seen it before. Even like that little brown spot right there. Those brown spots can be useful if you do this there in, in your flight, but the bare mountains like it there. I do see the water, and the water is this side of where I was going. That means that's going to be that mountain in front of it. I did have to say a hang slightly right to get around it. And to hang a lot right, we just about right off the end of that water there to get around the end of that mountain. That's probably going to be it. We're going to be just about right on distance, too. Now, I'm going to move a little bit toward that water. Just because there's a little hump in front of me. And the water is more where I'm going than that anyway. I don't want to miss that mountain ball. I don't want to have to climb back up here around it. Uh oh. That was a loud noise on my headset. I hit it with a buckle. We're going to go, like I say, I'm calling it 20, 15, 20, the 20 is going to be a mountain in front of me, not the ones here. These don't show up on that map enough to pick out, but the water did, and I see the water. And what I'm going with looking at, I've seen it. I didn't look at my chart, but I see the water. Well, I said I didn't, I don't think I did. I started to, but I just didn't do it. No, I didn't put no water on there. But anyway, the water was on that map, we looked far ago. There's a road going through here, but I don't, I don't, I don't know where the roads were either. But I was charging in real life, I used the roads also. But it pulled me out of the road map and overlay it. If it wasn't on my air chart. Now, see right in front of me, on my right, there's a little pass going to the left around that mountain. That's where we headed. That looks right. More right than anything I've seen yet. What I'm going to do is head toward that opening. Until the way I get there. Well, that's going to be it right there. It's going to be around the backside of that big one. Those mountains I looked at didn't look so big on the on the chart. They're pretty dog on good size. All that mountains does have that water there. That was what I was calling a little high, little high terrain. A little higher than it looks on the mountain. It don't show that big on the map. That's going to be it. Should be an airport right around the back side of that. As we come around to the left there. We're going to hold right and go back left around, around the foot of that mountain. Should be an airport right on the... In fact, I think I might see it right now. I see something. Maybe a road. I believe it's asphalt, so it should show up on that. Here for my 
miscalculation could come into play because I got nothing else to go by. I said 350 off that airport. If I'm off four degrees there, then I'll really have trouble picking out the terrain on it. But it's just a little ways up and you hold it to the left. And around the mountain in between another open up there. Which should put you up to a lake or a creek in a little airport up there too. On that corner there is. The reason I got the word creek I think that airport around that corner. Not this one but the next one. This is Baker here. Daggett and Baker. Daggett was just a view of our airport there too, but I, I wasn't used in this for myself. The view of I didn't need to have no other airport. Now we're going to come around this here. So we're watching for the airport on my left around this corner. Anywhere in this clearing, but pretty much nothing's up in the next few mountains. And it was a ravine, this little valley here went right on around there. And it was around, a little ways around the other side. It wasn't back here, I don't think. Right around the base of the mountain. We're looking for an airport. I'll probably dust it up to my, on my left side here. We'll probably make it a little further around. But right around behind you. I don't think I had to go around behind the next one nowhere. I don't think. Now, if that's part of this, I'm, I have to go behind that one. I don't see an airport here. Now, if them mountains on my right are part of that ravine I was looking at, I'm cutting in too tight. I see something up here in front of me on my left. But I don't see an opening in the mountain up there on my left. I do see one across the other hill there. Well. I may have to check back here for our airport back here. Those are just little ridge that may be part of these mountains here. You can't look at them and tell all that from where I was at. I might be able to cross there and see that airport too when I get right. Maybe over behind the mountains right there, maybe where it's at. I think it was right here though. But of course I could depends on what part of this is what. But to a point I should be seeing that airport if it's in here. I may circle behind the other mountain and take a look see before we leave here. So now I'm getting into a cul-de-sac. They ain't supposed to be on cul-de-sac where I was going. As I come around the 350, I'm supposed to have a straightaway opening. I don't see it. So, I'm going to get the plane because sometimes you see more in the plane than you can out of it. I don't see no airport up through there. Maybe behind the mountain up there. What else the other be? Trees. I still don't see one. I don't see no way to get out of here. This ain't looking right. So I'm gonna try one more thing. What I do in real life, I thought I'd overshot it. Let's bring it around behind that mountain. Call that part of these. I don't see no airport up in here. I believe there's asphalt, which means it'd be pretty visible. Right, so let me get this right and see what I'm doing. Bring it all the way back in behind here. I've got to check behind this mountain before I go up to yonder. That, up to yonder, that opening looks about right on that side. <clears throat> and the airport still could be up in here over there, not that far back. 
Well, I'm gonna make a behind any mountain, make sure it ain't hid. There is no some different terrain rich on them. Pretty sure it was asphalt. But it could be laid right behind that mountain out of sight right now. And it may be right there under me. I'm looking at what's this. I don't know what that is. Down there. Let's go in behind this mountain turn and come right back out. We don't spot an airport around here, we're going to go up this ravine here. And if we lost, we just lost. Up, 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 up. Let's see what I see. How about halfway like this is part of those mountains right there I was looking at? But I'm not sure. I don't see no airport here either at this point. Now I can go to the GPS and find it, but I didn't want to. I'm going to fly this back to that ridge right there and come back out. In fact, I'm going to cut across the mountain wire and loop back out. If it ain't between here and there, it's not going to be on this part of it here. If we turn right back around now. If it's over that far, we'll see it on the other side we come around. Don't find it, we just don't find it. We'll turn it all the way around now. Get something to look at right there. Coming around. I haven't seen no airport yet. It's supposed to be right in this area. It could be on around the puzzle little puzzle around the bend. I don't remember exactly. I'm my best eyeball off the side of that wing. Look down there and see that. See if I can find that thing. That opening up to the yonder looks closer to what I'm looking for. Then the other cold sack would, wouldn't have been there. So, the airport's going to be here somewhere. A little further. May have to cheat to find the easy GPS. I tried telling people not to move off here. I couldn't find them if I had to. They wouldn't listen. They moved off up in this area. I see something that's in front of me. could easily be a little airport. could easily be. And that would put this streak out here being more like what I was looking for. And it's like this. There's a bank around here where it's supposed to be. I just don't remember how far around. I didn't mark the exact what I would call it, fact. That looks like a little airport sitting right there. But it is not. I believe it is. But it is. That's what we're looking for. I want to make sure it wasn't behind me before I kept going that way, though, after I come across the other side. Come across, further across the line. Yep, that's it. We got it. We got it. I could have come on 
that the mountain being split like that, I wasn't, I didn't realize it had a ravine between them also. That was the main mountain base, what I just came back around the second time. That's where I was both in the first round. But by having that open, I cut through. If I'd have stayed on that cutting through, the hell time this open, I would have across the airport. That wasn't in my calculation. Mine was to arch all the way around until I got to this airport. That's what would happen by coming out of that backside. That, way. that backside, like I said, I thought it might be that same mountain range than it was. Now, we're going to head it out of here on about 350. And that big mountain on the left, we're going to go around the other end of it. I'll do this right. It's a good little you know, ways up across there, but not a long way. And it opens up into another ravine. We go down into another airport, which is called Creek. This one right here was called Furnace. No, Furnace is over. This is Daggett. Baker, that's what this is called. And I didn't even see a code on it. It's called Baker. Mm -hmm. Now 350 is back out trying to work. I'm gonna get over the airport and it is. And 350 may not be like that. I could have done off but pretty heavy there. It was done the same way I did the other one. I was off 35 degrees to the right, so back to the left a little bit more like it. About where I'm at now, actually. I did say straight down the runway heading, that's what I said, as well as I put the, I didn't read the runway heading, but straight down the runway heading. If I read the runway numbers, I knew it was right wrong. And then we've got to hang a lift around the mountain, short of the big mountain. Maybe it opened right down. There wasn't no long ways up through here, but if we get to another airport, we're too far. There's another airport we're on Pinyon. By the far as we came from it into here, at least. We might see a creek off to the left. We do we automatically know that's it? Between them ravines. It arch around, but it wasn't a turn completely back. Here, you'll turn completely back, I think. And I think it's running a big mountain on it. It's puzzling, I thought it was. That could easily be anyway. I'm going to hold back that way just a little. So this ravine is down the middle of this ravine and to the left. Holding the left and around the mountain is what it was. But see, if that mountain range, this little mountain range here is the same one, then they be around it big enough. If we get up in there and run across our airport, we don't went too far. I didn't read the name of that airport, but we're not supposed to cross the ledge if we get behind that mountain. The mountain short that is, for the sea airport is in there, but. That don't look, that the piano looks more like what I'm looking for, past that big one. And before you get the other way up, John, we'll keep an open for another airport here, though. It was the only one in this area, other than the one behind us. I don't think this would arch me in too tight. It's just these mountain ranges are not jammed up as tight as they look on the mountain. That would put it right up in yonder. I'm going to go between them two right on the lift. Uh, there's no duck yonder. There's further up than I, my mind saying it ought to be. I know the draft was on the plane trying to fly up and down a little bit. I 
that don't look right there to me. But if it ain't around that big mountain, you know, it's right over in that hole right there, all around the other mountain, but that don't look right up in yonder, too much up in yonder. Let's go on around that big up yonder. It's pretty good ways up this full mountain up there, it's just so fat. And this angle was a pretty good little flight. I could do it like I did it and go to the map and get a general distance. We don't have any way to measure this to talk the last one. The only reason we would have is off of we done lost it probably. No, we still got but talk of the airport out there out front of the mountains and that won't do us no good here. That digger digger. That digger wasn't dead. Dag it. through here. I don't know. So I see a bunch of terrain there, but that, that ain't big enough for to hide that mountain there behind it. That over yonder don't circle around right. This up here should be it right here. Through that ravine to the left up here. Uh, this keeps going straight on out there for we have gone. It says nuts lower to that big mountain and go around it. That's what I gotta do. Probably said big mountain, I don't know. Hole. Hole right around 50. Left around mountain, they don't say how big one was. If we get to an airport right there, we don't want too far. That much I know. And if, if, if that ain't it, then. nothing here to go by. That don't look right there. You turn off into there, you have to cross them mountains. That wasn't in, that wasn't in my... As soon as you go around the mountain, you're supposed to fall into a creek. Whether it's water in or not, it shows a green. Well, the up it shows a bright green. I believe that's supposed to be water. But it shows a light green, real dark green. I believe that's supposed to be water, though. It's shiny looking on the map. Once we get to it, we still got two more airports to pass. One to pass, one. To. The other one is up the creek. Once we find the creek, I'll just follow it. By the way, it's up up a creek without a paddle here in a minute. I'm just letting the airplane fly itself. It's easier to just try to fight it what I'm doing. As long as I can go to where I tell it to. Check something just a minute right back. Oh, it looks all right. I'm trying to make sure it didn't kill my other video that I had going. It was still processed when I started this one. All right, let's start easing over here to the left. That's where the ravine right there. That looks right. That looks a lot right. Look at that big mountain. Fall right back around it into a little airport on the other side called Creek. And I believe it was asphalt also. It makes it findable. Look around in here. See, if we fell back in there, we'd be back to where we came from. That other way ain't no way out as far as being down in the ravine. This post stay flat laying under me at all times. I'm going to come back down a little. Right there, 500 more feet. See what happens. This may be high terrain. Do we have to go back up?
we don't have any more signal to worry about, so <coughs> rest of it's off see your britches. What you think you remember. It'd be nice if I had somebody fly this first, put it on video, I could watch it fly. Like I said, right over that little hump right there, right back to the left, slightly before the airport, I do believe. Almost straight out here. Just, just behind that little ridge on it. That's where I'm thinking to be. And that should be a place called Creek. We'll go up at, and from there on up it looks like a creek. And it turns into a lake. If it's water, it's so green. I assume it's got the wrong color on it. Looks like water to me. I've seen water two or three times I get up in here. But the other one was blue back there, and it's blue. But it just turned out to be a little low line, green looking area. That's so I, I can deal with that too. Oh, by the having an airport named Creek up here on the creek. Alright, I'm going to go two clicks over that way yet. Heading to 120 now. No, it's wrong. It's P302. I'm going 350 with turn 48 degrees to the left. But the real close to what I said, that would be in my mind. The amount of turn, not necessarily direction. I didn't make a direction of this. I used the mountain to try to find that next airport. For me, it just follow the creek bed. Slightly back to the right, I think. Up right through there. We'll get over another couple clicks toward that mountain. Two more. We can pull up. That airport. Whoop, 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 whoop. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? See? It's not an airport, is it? That one don't look like one, don't it? I'm gonna have to spot. I'm gonna check it out. I can't help my help myself. It looks like an airport from here. If it is, that's my airport right there. Not exactly where I expected it though. And I don't remember one being over there. Got to check it out because I believe it's the airport. We'll make sure we're on this corner too, but it wasn't one in both places. It may be something else outside the airport though. It don't really look like an airport, but at the same time, there's something up that's out of place. We we'll go back to that mountain, go around back around if we have to. What have we got there? Maybe there's a defect in the map. Shining on us. Gotta check it out though. My eyes done caught it. Since we're looking for an airport in this area. Still don't look right. It could be. I believe it's an airport though. Something. We still check around there that mountain, but the what am I looking at? Still, still don't look right. It's a seam defect in the in the in the map. Apparently, that's not an airport. That's what it is. It's a defect in the scenery. Fool me, didn't it? Mm-hmm. There, it's a crack in the scenery. Ain't none of my doings. Let's hang on back over there. 
back over next to that big mountain with his head for it. Hey! I'm in behind, I think I'm in behind a mountain here. Ain't I? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Get yourself before you crash this thing. Alright, I know where I'm at now. I had to figure it out. I got lost. I wasn't as far away from the mountain as I thought I was. When I come back in on it, it was there all of a sudden. Now I'm going the wrong way, but it's alright too. Now we know where we at. I stay off that mountain to figure out where I was at. Now we're going to get back on the autopilot here in just a minute. This time I know where we at. Here we go. I hope I know where I'm at. Looks like that road was there. Where's this seam at? No, I ain't either. I ain't where I belong with all this to it. Something changed on me. Come back here. Something ain't right. Let's get back in the other tour where I came from a few minutes. Got to verify. Let me get myself up away from these mountains. Yeah, there it is right there. I see it now. I believe I see it. This mountain here is out here by itself. I thought I flew further than that. There we go. Now, my mind, there you go. That's my battery right there. I was trying to make this mountain that mountain, but where in my mind? I knew that wasn't doing right. Too close to that place in the map. We flew a while to get to it there. All right, now back to where we was going. I'll go back to the altitude airspeed and we go ahead and set the heading just like we're going to get over next to that mountain then we'll turn around right around through there or we can start turning now but now let me get that right there back up where I tell what I'm doing there we go we gotta go over that mountain that wasn't the airport so now we still gotta find the airport but the airport's going to be up in this hole. It'll be around here, that little bridge on. I didn't think I know. It didn't, this didn't look like an airport, even though it looked like it could be one. Let's be picking the map. You won't find it in the world. You may find a crack in it. But it's a lot of defects in it. But not something you can predict. Coming on around there. Head for that ridge, there should be an airport right around the end of it. Out there somewhere. And the creek goes up to the little ravine there to the right, behind the other mountain. Should be. I haven't seen a creek yet, but it might not even be enough to see here on a little further, so it's a pretty wide area of water. First thing about if I was airport without it, we hadn't done nothing. Hoping one will come into view here in a minute. Right around behind this right here. I believe I see one. I believe I see airport. I'm not sure. There's something out there. May not be. Now it's starting to look more like a little mountain. But it was right up behind here where I'm talking about. And this one pretty close in here on it. It's sort of right around the corner. You got to double right back to it. Around this corner. Some part. Well, I haven't found it for sure yet. They were not really past this mountain yet though. See no mountain yet, no airport. And the way I had it planned, right along in here, would be getting close. It 
look back into here, but it being where it's when you're in the end of that ridge out there, but could it be behind this ridge here? Because you can't look at the map and be sure what you're looking at. There's something dark right on him in that little ravine. Maybe another crack in the map, but I'm thinking of being off to my right turn where I gotta go. But I still ain't seen no airport up in here. In this part. Well, I'm gonna come back around. As soon as you get around, the airport was tucked in, but you didn't have to tuck in that tight. There, where you was going wasn't back in there, just the airport was. Off up to the next to me, it looks like we're up to the yonder. Not to the left, but to the right. I don't see my airport though. Got me confused. Twist that head all around, look. Well, I'm in the right place, but I sure don't see no airport. Got ready to go cheating. I'm talking about cheating big time. Now, it could be what I want to be young, too. It don't hurt to ease on over in there. And then come back out. It did hook back. I just don't know how far. Very little look like around the mountain. Could have been the wrong ravine altogether. I still don't see no airport. Got a fun looking mountain back out. Another defect we have from the map, I did believe. This is getting too far back to see me. Ah, uh, go away. I don't need nobody telling me nothing. Look like the GPS to make sure where we at. Or the map one. Put the street right there on the ground. Just dark facing the earth. I still believe my earth will find my Oops, I see something. If it is, it's pulled out and I expect it. Trying to get to move the windshield, they won't do it. I hadn't seen no airport. That tells me I'm in the wrong place. I 
on Elk Creek either. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm on, I'm on, on a good little piece of creek, though. Uh, well, that don't look bad so far as the train I'm looking for. No airplane on it, airport on it though. That little green terrain up there looks really good for where I'm going. It's almost exactly what I'm looking for. I just don't see that airport I was talking about. Neither one of them. Look at three of them, but once you zoom it out, you lose all the airports. All the little ones anyway. Like. The only other way to prove it is go right here. And this is, I've been in the right place. I'm not lost. I hadn't seen an airport, and I don't see it on the map, or maybe it wasn't one. Maybe I just thought my mind was saying it was. But it said creek, and that's the creek I'm talking about right there in front of me. I'm going the right way exactly. A little loop I made right there, look at that defect. I thought the airport said right in there. But it ain't. I was looking for something that wasn't there. It's, I, so I wrote the word creek, but I thought it was airport there, too. Apparently it wasn't. It, I didn't write airport, so that's what I get for thinking too much, don't it? Anyway, I'm headed the right way. That's exactly where I was headed. I'm in the right place. I'm not lost. Just wrong mistake about the airport. I had to prove where I was at, but I did not know. But I'm right. We're headed up into this creek. It showed water all the way down into here on the map, a little streak, but not necessarily water, and it didn't turn a real bright look at the way up there, and as you just seen, it's green, it's not, it's not blue. But that's, this ravine goes, goes into a cul-de-sac. Now, there is two airports at the end of it. If not, we are bad shape. The map had them on earlier, but I saw them. But there's up on that creek, one just about halfway up, and that's the end of it. Two thirds of the way up, it's the first one. Then it holds back towards the left of the other one. One of them was out in the green. It may, I meant to look like it's a water airport. It may be all dirt, it may not be water. It goes called Creek. But I got the name Creek off of something, it ain't going on the ground, so that'd be an airport somewhere. But I didn't see it this time. But we're in the right place, I do believe. Well, I didn't look. Let me look at that one more time. But it will show the airports. See, there's one right there and one right there. There they are. Verify, make sure I did see it. Maybe two, two of these players look like this. There's two in front of me for sure. One was called Furnace, and the other is Stovepipe Wells. Three not show. I'm not lost, I just don't know where I'm at. As simple as that. But we're in pretty good shape. We call this ravine now, we can't hardly miss it. There was low land. Just the fact that I never threw this rap forward. Trying to go by what I saw on that map. It ain't done too bad. I don't think.
see a little ridge up there. That wasn't the map of that thing. It's in here. I don't see the right place on the, on the map, so I'm in the right place. I just want to keep within that area. So we spot that little airport put the in. This time we do need to find that airport. There's two of them. Need the one just to prove what other than that. I knew them two was up our creek. I couldn't be sure. I sure thought I had one in there. Where I got the word creek from, I don't know. If you didn't have an airport, then that's not going to go by. That's why I decided it was a creek. You know, I read it, I remember reading it. It's very back to the right, John. So it's Sunday morning already. Uh oh. One of these. Hmm. Shh. You got that right. Talking about a lost bird. <laughs> I'm following you on your video. Yep. I'm trying to. This is supposed to be a creek here. I don't see the water. On the map, it's green, but it looked like water. But anyway, I haven't looked at the map. I had lost enough I wasn't sure I had to go back to the map and be sure. I'm dead on where I could be. I just didn't know it till I looked. Well, the airport, I thought it was the airport in the corner park I nearly found it. And on the map I didn't see it either, so apparently it wasn't. I wrote down the word creek but where I got it from I don't know. Even though this looked like a creek. I only called it a creek because I saw the word creek somewhere on there. Turns into like a river up here on the map, but it's all dirt right now. It's green, it wasn't blue though. There's another airport right up here, two of them. And on the right, up in this ravine, it's slightly to the right of the center. It off to the left as you pass it, and that's the one I'm going to. Turn left to get to it, so. But as soon as I come into this valley, I had no suggestion to go by. Not a thing out here, but just guesswork. What you see on that map ain't what you see on the ground when you look. A little different. Get 
that thing go away off the top of the screen. <coughs> Shouldn't be too much further. It could be 20, 30 miles or more. Way up his dog leg to do it. Ten four. thing. Watch that airport. The mountains on the left start fading away about the time we find that airport. So we gotta go back in that area.
wheels don't touch the ground. If they do, I'll go back up. Nothing for mileage. I no idea where I'm distance. Starting to see what looks like the end of the ravine. The mountain comes across front of me. And it's just about that elbow somewhere where the airport's up there. But it's not a sharp elbow. It's time to go. Definitely got a mountain in front of me now. User disconnected from the channel. Uh oh.
or when I get up at that airport, we'll call that mountain on the left, around it. So I need to find that airport first. Okay. Got some messages. Get to my click of the screen, the sound stops on my airplane. That's all right. Fooled me about being water tonight, though. If it's water, it's always muddy. But it wasn't blue on the screen either. I just had my doubts there, you know. Airport I'm going to is only 25 feet for sea level. So we should be getting about that terrain around us under us now, about that high. Even though I'll come down 500, well, do I look higher than this? So I'll get another 500 to it out. Bluetooth's got some horror for a minute. Getting bigger now though. And more of them too. In a hunting game I don't hold though, a big old bear tried to get me. I think he did, but I thought I had another moose shot out there. I thought he'd run over me because I was doing something else off screen when it happened. <clears throat> but when I come back on, there's a big old bear over a little way from me, so I assume he's the one to run over me. I got to try and put that stand up. He wouldn't let me stand it up. I couldn't find a place where it'd be level enough to set up. I'm worried about that bear getting me before I get that stand set up. This big old bear, and I shot him four times while I started shooting at him. Alright, I shot at him four times. I think I hit him three. At least three. And then when I got to my tent, somebody else was in my tent, a real man. 
Like, what are you doing? I, didn't, I don't know how to talk. I gotta get to find out how to, You can talk in there, but I gotta figure out how to do it. I forgot. I couldn't talk to him. I tried to shoot him. The gun won't shoot. I knew it wouldn't. I don't try that one forward. I heard him outside the tent shooting as I was getting ready to quit. Oh, what is shooting at? He may be like another guy coming in that time trying to scare all my animals off. Now, he was there at that tent. That bear was at that tent, more or less. So, he might have been that tent out by a bear. I don't know. I look to see if he got any of my clothes to change clothes. My bear got everything he does for British. Yes, I do. It might not be what I'm thinking, but I believe it is. Good chance that's one right there. A little asphalt one way. I'm going to go down and look. Can't tell now what it is. Still, yeah, I see the end of the runway. That's a secondary, that's a furnace, the name of it. Like a heating stove, furnace. Straight across there and head out to the next one. The other one is up to the, slightly to the left now. A few degrees off. Up that ravine, it shouldn't be as easy to found as this one was. There we go. Back up and away. Got to it open the right corner now. Since we've got mountains on both sides, we can't miss it much, can we? Just the red opening is what it is. And it should be right there to the end of it, might say. I hope. Let's see where we're at. Let me get myself back up here before I mess around. Get on the ground. Here we go. Okay, 
make it 2,000. Now this should be right out through there. The airport. I don't remember if it's to one side or what. I didn't write all that down exactly. You see it go past the airport. Follow left northerly to the airport. There should be northerly right here. Not north, but northerly. Close north. That's a good little distance between these two airports, but not a long ways. Just a second, let me see. I see you is L09. Stove pipe wells. Too, they won't work with unselected. Be back over this way right through this hole. Five and twenty-three. I believe it was last fall, if I remember right. I'll do twenty-five and twenty-five feet. Runway length was thirty-two sixty. Not a long flight, it's looked like. Trying to hold back the middle of this opening. Till I get out in the middle of it and then they have to hang back. I'm not sure where it was, but it should be in view out here. level of 2,000. Keep getting inside, sometimes that windshield will pull them out clearer than we are looking outside. It's further sometimes, but clearer.
Okay. Got you. Me too. I keep turning my plane the wrong way. I want to turn this, not that. Seems like this. Oh, I see it. I got it. It's on the one up here, so I got it. Doesn't got it off to my left there. I see a plane on the ground. Got a plane on my airport waiting on me to get there. He got the coffee hot and eggs cooked. I forgot what button to push to turn this thing off. Still wrong. This one. This one. This one. This one. And that one. Now she's off. Looks like we've got a straight in movie where I'm at. Get inside the plane. I should be able to tag it right down. Don't want to get too slow here. I'm still doing over, I think it's over 100. So we're doing 140 knots. That's miles per hour on that anyway. Yeah, good miles per hour on that. I can get that back to under 100 or about 100 sure enough. It'll fly, it'll fly, it'll fly, it'll fly, it'll fly, said to five knots. So, I should get out to a hundred easy enough, fly for hour. But it just feels so slow. About 110, almost. Coming in to stovepipe wheels. I don't know where he got that day from, I have no idea. The man ain't never seen a stone tile well before. That's what it was. That's what he called it. The name of the airport after what he saw it. I don't know. Slower down. There's a hundred miles an hour right there. Slower down some more. Come on down a little more. Come on down a little more. Get out of your numbers, come on. On the ground. They plane flies as good as any plenty. Airport must be a little different. My concrete don't go over there. I got you in the woods. Well, the edges of well, you can see yourself. Where, oh, there you are. You're not quite as far as I thought you was, but you see the difference. And you got to tell you, you can see the difference. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna stop right here on this little line right here. 
thing. We eat hogs for today. Come on, turn it around now. That there. Call that good. Park break on. Around the plane. Get a shot of him out there in the bushes. There he is. No, he's all right. Is that on the sand? He probably sitting on the pavement of his. As X plane over there, this is steam version FSX. Now, let me see if I can shut this thing down and get everything where it belongs. Uh, my cool dude, where's he at now? All right. Getting ready to get out of there just about a minute or two. All right, now we're going to open a little window. A little air in here before we even kill the engine. Open the door up. There we go. Now let's get the plane shut everything down. Uh, we're going to call it like this right here. Avionics off. Power off. Engine off. There we go. Let's shut down there now. I didn't check see if my lights is off. I guess I better do that. But they on the well, the power off they pulled me off anyway, but it may not be. Probably never to turn them on, to be honest with you. Lights off. Now go back in and make sure the power's off. Power's off. Now back outside the plane and let that man get his stuff out of there and reach back and get his packages. Better on strapping for it, don't need a lot of fall out of that thing. Here we go. Uh, seat belts off, headsets off, take your glasses off, put it back in. Well, it didn't, it didn't work. Here we go. Seat belts off. Headsets off. Put them splashes back in his pocket. Behave yourself. Now let him get out of the seat. Reach back and get his luggage. There you go. Got him. Now we gotta get this thing ready for the night because maybe a little wind tonight or something. But get it all strapped up and tied down. Almost tied down first. Then put the chalk on it first. Here we go. That way it won't roll me while I'm. Getting the strap tie downs on it. There we go. Got it all tied down, ready to go. And that's going to be it right there. That's going to be another flight for today. This is town done. We're going bye bye. Catch y'all later.